In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to continue our look at a new tool called the Video Collage Designer. We began looking at this as one of the new additions in our first look series in PowerDirector. And now we're, let's give you some more details in this exercise about the Collage Designer and moving to the next one. In order to edit any Collage Designer that you may have already in your project, all you need to do is take the mouse button and click on the collage. You can pick from multiple ones if you have them. Then you'll see a button that will appear above the timeline called Video Collage. When you click on that, it will take any collage you have highlighted and put it into edit mode. So you can edit one or more by simply highlighting. Another option is you can click on the plugin menu and click on the bottom option, which is Video Collage Designer. But for most of us, we'll pick the option that's closer to the timeline, so we'll highlight that box and then we'll click on the Video Collage button above the timeline. So that will move us into the edit mode. And here you see the screen that we talked about in our first exercise, where we have multiple images, videos, and still images. We looked at how to take a border and add it, control the width of the border and the color of the border. There's also an option, if you're editing, to change the layout. Now, if you look here, the layout that we're curr is currently active is outlined in blue. You have 30 layouts to select from. And just because you pick one doesn't mean you need to keep one. You can pick another one. And you can go through any one of 30. Let's pick another one that has not five options, but fewer options. You notice in the number five is the center picture in this particular layout option. When I click on one with four options, let's see what happens. It redesigns the entire layout and it removes the picture of the biker because the biker was number five. Well, what would happen if you go from four up to five? We'll click on another one and we'll see it will populate the four corners with numbers one, two, three, four, and five is blank. If I want the biker back, I'll click and drag and put the biker in item number five. So that's how you can either decrease or increase the number of boxes in your collage. Uh, it will automatically eliminate the highest number. You can pick anywhere from two to seven in the current design of the program. So that's a little bit about adjusting those features in the Video Collage Designer. We'd also like to show you a few other things about that. Um, you have to remember the numbers for more than one reason. Let's play this and see what happens. Okay, it begins with two images, and then we have frame editing, and it moves forward and drops to five, and then it freezes at that level. What we're going to do now is show you some of the ways in which you can change a couple of the key features. We're going to look at, first of all, frame animations. There's three options, from beginning, during the closing, and none at all. Let's go ahead and play this. We have it now selected to during the closing. Notice the frames are all frozen to start with. And then if we stop and move near the end of our collage timeline, we'll click and play again. And now because it's during closing, now I have my animation only at the end. You can have the animation at the start or at the end, but not both. So you pick whichever you like. The other option you have is you can do off. Off will just give you a static uh, frame and the frames are locked in for the entire duration of the collage. So that's what those three options are. And sometimes you do want locked frames and that's what that will give you. So you can go off there. Now the other option you have in the main screen is the duration of the entire collage. The default is the largest clip. You can also use shortest clip or other clips as well. So if we look here, we see the largest clip is happens to be the road. That's 29 seconds, 27 frames. So that means that will be the length of the entire collage. You don't have to stick with that option. 
if you don't want to. So what we're going to do is give you some other ways of looking at that. Uh, let's play the largest clip and see what happens. When I drop it onto the timeline and hover over the clip, the duration will be 29 frames and 27 seconds. That's what controls that number. Let's go back into our editor again and look at a couple of other options that we have here. We can choose largest clip. We can choose shortest clip. And in this case, the shortest video clip is 17 seconds. Or we can choose clip 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Now, how do you find out which clip is which? Well, you have to look back at the blueprint at the top. One is in the upper right corner. Two is lower right in this particular one. Three is upper left. And so let's pick number two. Clip number two is seven seconds long. So if I set the, the collage duration to that, let's go ahead and change clip number two's duration. Let's go from seven seconds and move up to, oh, let's see, 15 seconds. I'll click on OK there. Now clip number two, which is my duration control now, is 15 seconds long. So if I go ahead and change that, we'll click on OK, and watch what happens in the timeline. When I look at the duration of the entire collage and hold the mouse over it, it's now 15 seconds long. So that is the key control that you can use and vary in your collage editor when it comes to controlling the length of the entire collage. And um, there are some more settings that we can get into when it comes to playback. Uh, we will get look at those in the third and final review of this new feature uh, called your Video Collage Designer in CyberLink PowerDirector version number 16.